What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Liftoff with the JP Way, and you don't want to miss this flight. Today, we will be going over four different scratch patterns that you can use to begin transitions into new songs. And two things I want you to remember is number one, practice, practice, practice. And number two is just continue to be creative. Try to take these scratch patterns and create your own out of these. You can mix and match these together. Just always remember to be creative. Always practice, practice, practice. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Alright DJs, so those are the four scratch patterns that you can use to scratch into any song as a transition. So now let's go ahead and break down each of them. The first one pretty much starts off pretty simple and we kind of get more advanced as we go on. So I'm going to have the beats and the bars up on the screen so you know exactly when to drop or when to scratch into the next sound. So let's start off with the first one. So for each of these transitions, I'm going to assume that you know how to actually transition into the new song. All I'm doing is giving you a scratch pattern that you can use instead of maybe just hitting one of the hot cues or instead of fading in a song slowly, I'm giving you an actual scratch pattern that you can use. So for this first one, you're going to actually start your scratch pattern on the four. So it'll sound just like this. Three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. So we're starting this scratch pattern on the four. And all we're doing for this first scratch pattern is we're doing two chirp scratches. So simply starting with your crossfader open, you're gonna have your platter before the sound. All you're gonna do is push your platter forward and you're gonna cut the sound. Then you're gonna pull your platter back as you open the crossfader. So that is a chirp scratch, pushing it forward, closing this crossfader. Then you're gonna pull the platter back and you're going to open the crossfader and you just have two of those so you have three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four okay so now let's go over the second scratch pattern so as you can hear we're going to start this one on an and so we have three and two and three and four and four and two and three three and four okay so right when you get to that three and all you're gonna do is you're going to push your platter forward and you're gonna close your crossfader then you're gonna pull back on your platter without opening the crossfader yet so all you're gonna do is push forward and make the chirp sound going forward then you're gonna pull your platter back without opening it then you're gonna open the crossfader then all you're going to do is a quick scribble. All a scribble is, is two quick baby scratches. And then you're going to do one more full chirp scratch. Then you're going to let your platter go. So you're going to have three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. Now let's go ahead and move on to the third scratch pattern. I'm going to go ahead and show you first. So for the third scratch pattern, you're actually going to start right on that four. So if you're counting three and two and three and four and four, you're going to start right on that four. And then with the scratch pattern by itself, this is what you have. Okay. So all we're doing is we're going to start with our crossfader close. We're going to open it, catch your platter. Then you're going to just pull your platter back. Crossfader still open. Then you're going to do one chirp scratch. Okay, so, so far we have. 
okay? Then you're just gonna do the exact same thing again. Let your platter go, catch it, pull it back, cross layer still open, chirp scratch one more time. Okay, so now with doing that twice, you have right then lastly you're gonna let your platter go once more catch it here pull it back and then this time you're just gonna actually let your platter go three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and one three and two and three and four and four and two and three Now let's move on to the fourth scratch pattern. It sounds really similar to the third one, just the end is a little bit different, so I'll go ahead and show you first. So as you can see, this one again starts on the four again, so if you have three and two and three and four and four, we're gonna start right on that four. The beginning is gonna be the exact same as number three, so we have Three and two and three and four and four. Starting on that four, so we have four and two and three and, and then right when we get to that four, instead of doing what we did on part three, we're just gonna give ourselves a couple of chirp scratches and the goal of this is to go fast to slow. So it should sound like this. Okay, so fast, medium, and then slow, all chirp scratches. So from the beginning, we have four and two and three and right on that four, we have fast, medium, slow. And that one's gonna definitely take some practice, but this is definitely a great scratch pattern to know. Um, definitely take some control of your hand speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this one one more time for you. Three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. All right, DJs, I hope you all enjoy learning those four different scratch patterns. Remember, you can use these at any time that you're scratching into a new song. Remember to practice, 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 like I said in the beginning, as well as be creative, mix and match these, create your own using kind of the concepts that I've shown you in this video. And of course, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any other ideas for videos for me, go ahead and drop it in the comments section. And that's about it for me. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm up out of here.